You mean 7650, let's go, right? Yes. Uh, I looked up... <laughs> hey there, folks. I looked up uh, this Famitsu... Uh, it's a you, Famicom you magazine. You did that, and I, Mysterious JG, uh, listened. Yes. Um, and, like, they're only at issue 16-something now, so, like, clearly it's not an issue number, but, like, it's gotta be some sort of inside joke about what's going on. I thought it was gonna be, like, if you looked at the cover, it was a particularly risque issue or something. Well, Japan has, like, 7 million, or just 17 million people, so it's kind of an inside joke just amongst that, those <laughs> couple of million people. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I thump, clank, crush. Yeah, okay. What in tarnation? What are you? Ooh. <laughs> oh, what in tarnation? Oh, no, it was a trap. Oh, no, she's millennia. She, she just killed you with a mega rock. Yep, let's talk to him. All right, here's what we ought to do. Sorry, but I actually got no clue. Well, I mean, we've got a four-digit code, and there appears to be a number pad, but I yep. guess we can look around first. Concrete walls, dang solid. Yeah, nothing weird in here. Nothing weird in this uh, jail cell. They're incredibly sturdy. Let's see what we can find. As a mouse hole, don't ask me. Let's strike the door. The I mean, yeah. clearly we have to do something with this number pad, but... Run up in there, will ya? Oh, Mihari's the one telling us. I know who that is. Who's That's... that? I don't know who that is. Okay. Is, is, are I'm we not sure allowed it's not to look John... for people in the cell with me. Are we sure it's not Johnny Suzaki from uh, Metal Gear? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up. Shut up in there, will ya? If it is, uh, we gotta get Otacon to bring us some ketchup, and then we break the ketchup packet and lie over it so it looks like we're bloody and dead, and Johnny Suzaki comes in, and then we take him out. So. Hey, look, it's a keypad. Whoever locked us in here has gotta be a moron. We can unlock the door from our side. I wonder if it's possible to get in here without the code. I don't know. Oh, hey, it didn't go away. I thought I was going to have to push push every time for each of the buttons. I can't believe you didn't initially go with 6969. I see you escaped as expected, Sanma. This is my secret lair. As ye may know, I'm the Emperor of Darkness. Oh, and I see they've got a real uh, 1940s style going on for their pendant there. What is he supposed to be dressed as? Like some kind of like Manchurian villain or something? He's got the Puma though. He got the Puma. Come on, Norio. Enough joking around. I mean, if I knew which guy Norio was before, I would make him talk like that. But this ain't a joke. My job ain't to put a mask. I'm actually the Emperor of Darkness, Savior of Mankind. Although you wouldn't think those two titles go together. I knew it. I knew you were the savior of mankind. I figured that out after you told me the first time, but not until... <laughs> yeah. But not until you said it the second time that I agree. I assume you got the diamond with you. And as you can see, I got the puma here. Hmm. And this Nobunaga voice really doesn't work with this grandma. Also, I assume you got the diamond. We didn't bother to search you before we put you in this cell. <laughs> yep. The two of them together are the key to the mystery of an ancient treasure. Hero may have failed me, but the reason I needed the Star of Africa was to find that treasure. I don't know. I think it works better with the... The, the juxtaposition. Yeah. Then, uh, Mr. Zur, you gotta solve the ri... We're not helping him. Oh, or are safe we? Stay here. I gotta, I gotta no. set a safe state and find out. Is this I gonna still, be? I, I still think we would have gotten a secret bonus room with Puff Puff if we'd entered six nine six nine as the passcode. <laughs> well, I mean, we did. <laughs> Puff Puff in this game doesn't seem that great. Also, why are his wallpaper skulls? He can't be the good guy. He's the savior of mankind. You will do it. Great. 
Here's the Puma. See what you can do. Wait. So our default was to say we will help? I guess... I you thought that would be him to, get, uh, to get mad. No, I figured if he said no, it's just like, but you must. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this puma and run. Don't forget you're my prisoners. Dummy. What if we use a star of Africa? On the suicide note. Let's do that Let's later. Let's do that later. Stop wasting time. Solving this riddle comes first. We'll talk after you solve the riddle. So, this Norio is based on a famous comedian, right? Like, which famous comedian did this game decide was a murderer? <laughs> Gotta rotate that plume around, man. Oh, well, maybe. I mean, I think it, it's got to be something other than the Puma we can interact with, right? It's got a long tail, then it's got the small head and a mean-looking shiny eyeball. Oh, I think you put the you put the diamond in the eyeball, right? You think so? Let me examine this diamond real quick. Wow, look at it! So shiny. So shiny. Show or give. Save the forever. Oh, fine. Use diamond on suicide note. It's like solve the riddle. Also, we're not going to let you do anything. Yeah, solve the riddle using our incredibly not good for solving riddle command structure. Well, okay, now, is there... We've examined the statue. Is there more for us to strike and rotate now? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, rotate that tail, man. A spooky face. I think it's made of glass. Don't look too stable. Oh, strike the eye. It's not stable. Guess that wasn't it. Push the eye. Mm. Jam your thumb right into the eye socket. All right, let's look at the tail, I guess, before we. Oh, it's a crank. <laughs> Turn to that tail. I'm harder than I thought. Maybe we can rotate the head. It's an action figure. Okay. Well, maybe after we rotated the tail, which apparently he did do, but it was harder than he thought. Yeah, maybe now we could open the eyeball. Take the eyeball. Okay, it's a small head. Head. Okay. Push the head. Push the tail. Push the eyeball. I think we already tried pushing the eyeball. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe we just gotta rotate it more. What if we ingest the puma? What if we eat the Dark Prince here? But you know I can't eat that. What if we... What if we... Strike... Other... Hit him? Oh. Huh. There's, There's no, no reaction. reaction. <laughs> He's just... Yeah, he just like laughs you off. <laughs> I'm so freaking strong. I can stand up to punches from... Hackneyed comedians. Nah, yeah, nothing weird in here. Yeah. 
Is the is the thing the Puma standing on anything, maybe? Well, don't ask me. Okay. Keep turning that tail. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go through the whole list one more time, and if this isn't working, I'm gonna try saying no to them. I think you skipped. Pa I think you did tail twice and uh, eyeball not at all there. No, I. But I got a little bit of blinking going on on my end, so. It feels weird you can't use the diamond with it in any way. I know. Oops, I already struck things. Open. I think you would open the ice socket and put the diamond in there, but like you'd have to turn something first. At least they all have a somewhat original dialogue, I guess. Hey, the eyeball came up. Cavity looks like a perfect fit for the star of Africa. I reckon it goes there. You reckon? Inventory. I think he's just patiently watching you solve this thing. He has no idea how to do it, I guess. Yep, fits perfectly. Nothing's happening, though. Maybe we need to do something else. Now is when we rotate the tail. Yeah, yeah there you go. Because now it's going to be easy. Now that the diamond's in place. I feel oomph, what did I thought? Mm, I hear something inside the puma. I hear the sound of Zerfall giving up just a quarter of a second too early. <laughs> what are we striking? Maybe now we open the head. Oh, open the head. Uh, whoa, the Star of Africa is letting out light. Sure. We did it. Look, it's a map. All right, now you can kill me, Prince of Darkness. Now that I've... I knew it. That there's a map of Barabay Island. I've had my eyes on it for a while now. I will take it from <laughs> the Takara. As opposed to Dark Barabay Island. <laughs> I thought it was like Barbie Island, the Malibu dream house is here. He said Norionaga. Norio Naga. <laughs> so, how about it, oh, that man, Mr. Zer? Will you, uh, for get about your stupid case and come with me to find the treasure you have to have another save slot although yeah. i feel the first time you said no would do nothing uh I'll, i don't know though so i will uh toggle the menu and change my slot to 10 very con yeah i was like i don't know how much you use a famicom emulator but this is very complicated really that's good to hear with your assistance We'll find the ancient treasure sure thing. All right, but we're splitting even Stevens, Mr. Emperor. You drive a hard bargain, so be it. I didn't get to read the rest of that, but... <laughs> it just jumped it, ahead. It took us a good long month, but we... And the lady did it. Look, Sanma. It's a treasure chest. What do you mean, treasure chest? This thing's empty. Why is it empty? Not to mention our plane broke down the second we landed. How are we supposed to get back to Japan? Why am I talking like this now? Well, guess that's it then. Sorry, um, bud. The game's over. Game over, yeah. Ah. Yuck, it was so cute. And again, I didn't case? get to read it. What? And what about the case, Sai? The so end. there's any thing that we help the double murderer to find an empty treasure? <gasps> Wrong. What? This is an I didn't true realize. Ending. The case hasn't yet been solved. Try again and find the real culprit. 
Oh, you mean it wasn't uh, the Prince of Darkness? Oh, wow. <laughs> Wrong. It's... <laughs> That's uh, what might have happened to Cobra the Space Adventurer, but... <laughs> then oh wait, it turns up. out we said no! I see. So you'd rather work on your case. It's a shame, but I understand. I'll tell you something you might find useful as a reward. The day of the incident, Bunshin never entered the vault. He left the hall and went to Takayuki's room. So, there you go. So, question is, why does body be side... Why... Why did his body be side the vault, then? But then, who was phone? As you know... Or rather, as you know, it's important to get to the vault without walking through the hall. It's impossible, impossible even. Well, yeah, well, it's important and impossible. Think real hard about it. Oh, and let me give you a little gift, too. On track. Here you go. Well, I'm going to Black Devil Barabbas Island. And I again, I just don't case. get to read the text, ever. I'm just curious, what do we still have in our inventory? Uh, by the way, is it, it, it didn't he, like, murder people to steal this diamond, or...? Yep, we don't have the diamond now. But we do have this contract, let's look at it. This is a smuggling contract. The name's been removed. But I reckon we can guess, right, him, bud? I guess, like, we're supposed to understand more about what's going on than we really do. I guess so. Um... So, did uh, the Prince of Darkness actually uh, hurt anybody? <laughs> or. Well, I mean, two saying, people like, are oh, dead. God. So. <laughs> Unless. Well, if he's saying, like, oh, that guy didn't actually get killed by us, like, at all, like, he wasn't even in the vault. We just happened to be a diamond theft going on unrelated to the murder, which was actually about the joke book. Now, I have to say, I'm surprised that we didn't get killed. Or something. Instead of him being like, well, have fun. Uh, because the walkthrough does say, say no to this when you first ask, if you first ask if you're going to help. Oh. Well, I mean, did we want to go back and try that safe slot? Well, I, we think never this did. I think this one's more interesting. Okay. But I'm going to see if... Because we do kind of want to know what that does. Oh, we're going to show him the uh, smuggler contract? Yeah, but this isn't how we do it. We're supposed to do it by... Oh, it does show in the list. How come we can't show him the... Oh, there it is. No, that's contact lens. Contract, there we go. Mm -hmm. I was expecting contract it to be the last item operation. because it was the last item we got. Right. There's a contract for a smuggling operation. Forgive me, no speak Japan. What? Forgive me, no we, speak Japan. We clearly were talking to him a long time ago. Oh, I mean, I think that's the joke. Oh, I see. Ouch, I'm sorry, I'll talk. It's true, I smuggled the Star of Africa. I was working with Mr. Yoshimoto. He said there were a lot of money to be made from smuggling jewels. I'm now talking Russian. What a Yoshimoto. <laughs> but who's what's Yoshimoto's right. first name? Or last name? I think Yoshimoto is the old guy. I think he's like the evil one because nah. he can get to the vault through some secret passageway because it's his office. Well, let's go talk to him then. <laughs> Now that we know. But of course, the first thing we have to do is come to our office. And put down an in-game save. You gotta write down what I tell you. Blah, 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 blah. Mick. <laughs> Mick Bluxy. Yes. Mick I love this place. It's Ayako's room. Her dad's like evil. Is your investigation going well? Is my dad like evil? Is it my dad at all? <laughs> in any way? 
Just show her the suicide note. I can't believe that Shinsuke would actually kill himself. It has to be some kind of scheme. I think it might prove useful during your investigation. I don't need it, and Father shouldn't mind. Father, Father <laughs> shouldn't mind if I keep the suicide note. Why would Father mind? <coughs> what else can we show her? Look at this contract. Yeah, whatever. Don't mean nothing to me. <coughs> oh, he's finally gone. Yoshimoto ain't here. What do we do? What are we looking at? Funny, it's stuck to the shelf. Hmm, that's funny. Well, the music is pretty suggestive, too. There's something fishy about it. You're the one that put it on the list! Well, oh, we I gotta go to other to check the thing next to the uh, trophy. His oddly brown freezer refrigerator combo. <laughs> Open the locker. That's why I want to open it. But they said the trophy is stuck to the wall. <laughs> so we probably want to like strike the trophy or perhaps push it. Mm, it's moving. Ah, there was a switch under the trophy. I heard something click. Awesome. Still can't so open the locker yet. Right. Um, rotate the locker. <laughs> sure that will work. Oh, rotate the chair. Just spin it around. <gasps> oh wow, that does do something. Suspicious. Oh, the locker was actually a disguised chair. Uh, stairs. Whoa, and bud, look, the locker away it moved out of the way. These stairs lead to an underground path. Let's see where it goes. Up to a bloody vault. Who'd have known this mansion's got a secret room? Oh, there's blood on the floor. He must have figured he had all the time in the world to clean up the blood because he would never find the secret room and he murdered this guy days ago. <laughs> Blood, not fresh. This is boring, stale blood. Everything's fishy. <laughs> it's a safe. It ain't open. It just like, huh? It opened just like that. <laughs> Inside the safe? What can you tell me about inside safe? There's a letter inside. Let's read it. If you want me to keep quiet, bring me 100 million yen by April 8th. The threat letter to Takayuki. Why would you keep that? Oh, is this... It wasn't Bunsen saying he was about to get a bunch of money before he died? Uh, yeah. But I mean, why would you keep the threat letter, the blackmail letter to you? April 8th, that's the day Shinzuki died. It's all starting to make sense. It sure is. He was blackmailing somebody for stealing the joke book? I mean, the joke book's gotta be a thing, right? Some kind of knob in there. Oh, it must be, uh... All Dragon. <laughs> Just trying to think of somebody to pick <laughs> on in the context of this video. <laughs> a knob. He's a knob. <laughs> Will we open it inside door? Are there... I am, bud. This room is... <gasps> Whoa! Oh, the secret room leads to the vault. Hey, the vault's just the other side of the safe. That means Takayuki's alibi ain't valid anymore. Ah, so you found out this much. You're more clever than I thought. We know about the smuggling operation. You killed Bunchen because he confronted you about it that day. In the meantime, I helped the Dark Prince, I guess. Uh-huh, what else? You killed Shinsuke, too. Why would you? I've come too far to be caught by a pair of puns like you. I'm running away to America. See ya! 
him, bud. We gotta catch him. Oh, this one works differently from the others. It's possible to permanently lose the game. Oh, jeez. I hope not. Like the end of, uh... Solar Jetman. Suddenly the rules are completely different. I mean, you have a, like, one attempt only, very difficult to win arcade challenge. I assumed that there was only four, uh... things in that I wrapped around, but... There you go. They're always in the same place! We got you now. Surrender, Takayuki Yoshimoto. They run for some reason. The first place they all run is to our office. Ah! The crimes are heavy. You murdered Bunchen and Shinsuke, and then there's the smuggling, which somehow the Dark Prince guy. I'm okay with him smuggling, but or maybe he's the one who actually owned all that stuff. JG doesn't know. <laughs> But lucky for you, uh, all this evidence we just kind of been rummaging around in our pockets with and stuff, so, uh... No warrants or anything. Oh, God! Shut up! I'm not another warrant. I have a gun, and I'm not afraid to use it. Did he actually shoot him? Looks like he's grabbing I his shoulder. I thought he did, yeah. I'm not afraid to use it again. Uh, yes, I can see that. Father, stop! <laughs> Please don't commit any more sins. Let he who is without sin cast the first not sin. Yeah, go, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, get out of the way. No, father. If you want to shoot Sanma, you'll have to shoot me first. But I've only got one more bullet. I mean, I want back the kind, sweet father I remember. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, look at that face. Not stop. Let's go to the police station, Father. You have to turn yourself in. Is this the end of little Yoshimoto? What a tough case, Mr. Zer. Takayuki must have had that secret room built to hide the diamond he smuggled. <laughs> he must have been paid a lot in order to build extra rooms in his house secretly. Instead, he well, yeah, he had the secret, the same secret bat uh, contractors that Batman uses. Instead, he wound up. Uh, use it to move that corpse into the vault without passing through the hall. As for Shinsuke, he must have witnessed the crime. He used that info to blackmail Takayuki, and that got him killed too. Ah, oh, that was the guy that was doing the blackmailing. Ah, uh, poor Shinsuke. He barely had the time to steal the diamond before he died. Wrong, him, bud. Wait, what? No. Apparently we said that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Jinzuke didn't steal the diamond. The fact is, the diamond was never stolen in the first place. And actually, the joke book was never stolen. I'm very confused. Takayuki wanted to pin it all on Jinzuke, so he left the fake diamond, the fake suicide note, and the diamond when he offed them. Wait. Oh. Okay. Wait. Are you telling me the guy that got murdered and we clear said clearly got murdered <laughs> didn't commit suicide? Well, we know that. We know the suicide <laughs> was faked, but apparently. The guy who killed him, like, the diamond was never stolen. The, 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 the proper owner of the diamond killed him and then left the diamond with his corpse. He would have really been out of luck if we had never tracked that guy down and found out he was guilty of some crime worth chasing him for. Yep. <laughs> come on, Mr. Zer, let's see if we can't cheer Yaku up a, a mite. Oh, come on. Using our penis. <laughs> Sorry. I guess my joke offended Zerf all to the point where we've just frozen the Let's Play here. Well, I don't know. It looks like a... the oh, game just froze. The music had to get to the end. Oh, okay. They they put a lot of time into that music. This is a work of fiction. Characters, events, and incidents are used in a fictitious manner, and any resemblance to real life are purely coincidental. Yeah, we believe you, Japan. I mean, people who made this game. Yep. Senma there's, Akashiya. There's no real people in this game. Again, this game would kind of be like if, if there was a game in which, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Sam Kinison was investigating the death of, like, Stephen Wright and, and suspects included, like, Mario Joyner and uh, Ray Romano before he got really famous. 
I do like that if people have black hair, they just look like they have incredibly yeah. small heads. I've been... Oh, it's our Garfunkel from the side. Uh, Everybody's getting, um... Getting jiggy These with extra it. sprites that weren't used anywhere else in the game. Yes. Oh, God! Yeah. Where'd the geez. rest of your head go? Well, no, that's just been a, this has been a thing. It, it, like, we're doing a lot of, like... We have Microsoft Teams that we use at work. And people are teleworking and calling into meetings, and some people have different levels of comfort showing the inside of their home. So you can set these background filters, but the camera has to try to figure out where your face ends and where to start the background. <laughs> so people with dark hair are just like <laughs> their their misshapen skulls are floating around in this void that's placed behind them. You know what? I guess oh, all man. these people that are being shown are people that were shown on the runaway screen. Finn. Yeah, because not everybody got into this uh, cast list at the end. Like the 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 larger woman who was involved with like the joke. So I thought I remembered reading that. Yeah, Finn. This has been the official biopic of Larry Fine. I thought I remembered reading that there was like side content. Like I think some of the stuff with the joke book. Like we didn't. I don't know that we needed to find all of it, and there might have been stuff we never did find that didn't directly relate to the murder. Well, I think that. A lot of it was just, if you don't find this thing, the other person isn't in the spot where you need them to be to do the next thing. Yeah. So it seems yeah, like it, it's not required, but I think that it uh, it still is. Well, that's... Because I remember reading that in the, in the article about the game, but it could be that they were just wrong, or it could be that, like, if we had just gone... Like, they gave us a clue to go look for a person here, but if we had gone and looked for them there without receiving the clue, uh, they still yeah, would have yeah, been they there. they might have been there already. So, I mean, you'd have to do, you'd have to really poke at the game to figure that out for yourself. But, I mean, I do like how everybody's heads uh, are moving back and forth. And most people's, uh, I think everybody's bodies are too. But then the one guy, his head is just like, I, I wiggle my head back and forth at just the right rate that I don't have to wiggle it while I'm running. The bottom left guy's head is completely stationary. The bottom left, yeah, yeah. And he was the, the really violent guy too. Yep. Did, he, did he die? No, he he's the guy who, like, we caught him and he was like, here's some other guy, go chase them instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I swear, he was already, he, there was no body when I got there, go deal with someone else. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is interesting. I'm trying to think, if I played this, obviously there's a language barrier and, the cult, and a little bit of culture barrier, but, like, what, what are the puzzles in this, like, because I guess we fell back on using the guide a little bit, but not much, like, this is the thing I always found with these menu-driven games. Like, I can't remember now why, as a kid, did I need any help to beat, like, Maniac Mansion or Zack McCracken because they were, like, on-screen command games. But those games, there was a lot more stuff you had to navigate around and find on your screen. And this game, like, they had a rudimentary version of that. Let's see what we can find. But there, there weren't, like, a whole lot of places where we didn't have a pretty solid visual clue to what we were looking at. There weren't a lot of pixel hunts or anything. No, it wasn't uh, It wasn't too bad. There was a couple of things like, hey, you have to punch this thing that you can't examine normally, and then a lighter uh -huh. is going to break off. And you're going to yeah. use that, like, 45 screens later to burn a string off some newspaper. Because I, I have this vague feeling like, if I went back and played Maniac Mansion again now, and it's not like I haven't played it recently, I played it, within the time I started the Let's Play hobby, because I have a Let's Play of that game. But, like, I don't know that you could brute force your way through Maniac Mansion without some thought into how things are meant Oh, yeah. Work. You definitely need uh, a bunch of save games and, and playing multiple times to figure out right. what's kind of happening and the timings of people being places and stuff. Well, no, I'm saying, but this game you could. Like, I think oh, this you game could you totally could. Your, yeah, you could, um, you could brute force your way through this. Which, which makes and luckily like, we didn't have to. Uh, towards yeah. the end there, they started being like, have to go to places, but luckily they were earlier ones in the <laughs> list mm. of all the places to go. Um, but I know there's a lot more Japanese adventure games where it's just like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Now I have to go to every room that I'm allowed to go to and yeah. use every option in the menu until something clicks. And then I'll go back to the place where I thought I needed to go. And it turns out I did need to go there but I didn't see one piece of content they wanted me to see, so I couldn't progress. And that seems to be, and it might be because I only remember the above average games from the adventure genre, but it se that, that is a thing I'm noticing comparing these Japanese games I'm experiencing as 
ban translations later in life because this would have been contemporary with some of the stuff we remember uh like you know maybe the late i guess this would have been contemporary probably with middle to late sierra stuff i guess but yeah like whatever their quirks were i feel like just yeah you can just you just brute force your way through the game you never have to you never have to understand anything like I, that seems to be peculiar to the japanese uh adventure games and I don't know. Like, I had fun with this game, but, like, I think if I was playing it by myself without another person joking around, like, I probably would have gotten tired of this <laughs> fairly early. Well, I can understand that, especially since it's, uh, it doesn't have a lot of, um, like, one thing that a lot of, like, the PC Japanese adventure games have is, like, sweet cutscenes that happen. Yeah. Right? And, like, uh, and uh, chilling moments and whatnot. Uh, this game, mm. I mean, it's meant to be more of a comedy game, but yeah, uh, when when they when they did have like uh, a big shock, it wasn't like, and here's mm. the murder scene. Whoa, barely show this on YouTube. I guess I, I guess I'm I'm being too hard on it, um, I, as I was on the aching apparently. But no, I, I kind of feel like uh, yeah, maybe I'm maybe if I was playing this as a kid, I want I would have gotten more of a charge out of it when I did solve a puzzle. Yeah. Than I do playing as an adult. I can definitely understand why a Japanese uh, gamer who played this game when it was new. I can I can really see why you would have nostalgia for this because like playing it like there's there's uh, there's comedy. Uh, it's not that frustrating. There's the the adventure like the the arcade games seemed like silly and light, but they were kind of optional. Like there's a lot of reasons that there's a lot of charm in this game. I guess is yeah. That's one thing we didn't do is go back and, and play that. Uh... <laughs> That, uh, what do you call the the arcade game over and over again? You get new clues when we were stuck. Yeah, well, I mean, you can always do that in a bonus video. Is it worth checking to see what happens if you say no the first time to that guy when he tells you to solve the puzzle? I mean, does it just kick you out and you have to figure it out without getting the clue? It could, it could be. Uh, let's see. It feels weird you'd be rewarded for not doing the puzzle that involves like open the head and put in the jewel and then turn the tail. Like, it feels, it feels weird that. That's not... I see, that's a darn shame. In that case, I'll take the Star of Africa. I mean, let's, let's give it to let's him give it and see to what him. happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Let me tell you an exchange. The day oh, look, the... it oh, converged. Oh, the same thing. So, so we got bonus means... content that was harder to it... do. It just leads to a bad end. I got you. Oh, no, this isn't even a bad end. He's given us the information we need. No, but I mean, it oh. leads to a possible bad yes, end. If you, you can't get the, the bad puzzle, end. You were given a bad end option. Also, this guy's jerking it just as much as his underling was. If he wow. talks more. Look at him go. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And by jerking it, you, you like, so you believe his penis is like uh, 15 inches long. That could be <laughs> and up ends at his shoulder. <laughs> I guess the proportions are a little off because his the top of his hand motion he is up at shoulder uh, shoulder height there, sir. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it's like for you, but okay. Well, <laughs> all right, folks. Uh, as as we all just ponder how lucky uh, Jack Sores is, <laughs> it could be time to wrap up the series. Yeah, I wanted to mention one thing. Somebody brought up a comment uh, about this game. So apparently, this game did have quite a bit of influence, mm -hmm. and. I think that it was um, the crab icon is apparently like well memed in Japan. Like yeah. it's it's often yeah. memed in Japan. Um, so it's like it's all over the place, and apparently like it'll happen in games that come over here, and just like nobody notices that that's a big in joke about this game. I don't know. I mean, crabs like crabs are a thing in Japanese culture regardless like i thought the, the whole crab i thought the crab as a search tool was a pun anyway well, maybe yeah, not it maybe is. That's and apparently source. um the original crab joke in japan is kenny kenny doko kenny um and that exact phrase is used in the japanese version of super mario rpg by one of the enemies that is uh, a big crab yeah so i mean the fact that it got into one of nintendo's like big games I guess the game was a Squaresoft game, but you know what I mean? Like, It's like the Japanese answer to the Konami code, which is an American invention. <laughs> I 
All right, folks. Uh, who knows what we'll be doing next time, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fun. So check that out in uh, a little while when it starts coming out. And uh, we'll see you. See you there. 9090 crab meme. Bye. Bye. <laughs>